he say woo woo? <laughs> woo woo. <laughs> Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Disney stars who are actually best friends. Did you not see the please do not play the drum sign? <laughs> it's okay, I'm an awesome drummer. What's up guys, I'm Paige. I'm Frankie. And we're Bizarre Bar, coming to you live from my kitchen. I was hoping we'd be on the same team, Jack. But now, I'm gonna have to take you down. You know, I think you have a little crush on me. For this list, we're taking a look at Disney actors and actresses who get along famously in real life. Can you think of any others who are great friends? Be sure to sound off in the comments below. Number 10, Peyton List and Miranda May, Bunked. I think we lost her. These last couple days with Hazel have been the worst days in my life, and I once got locked in a funeral home over a holiday weekend. <laughs> huh, which holiday weekend? Does it matter? This Disney Channel comedy series serves as a spinoff of Jesse and concerns a group of teenagers who head off to summer camp. At the heart of the show is Peyton List's Emma Ross, a fashion lover and counselor in training at Camp Woodchuck. Miranda May plays Emma's best friend and farm girl, Lou Hawkhauser. These two are actually very close friends in real life, often posing for selfies together and taking pictures with fans. Funnily enough, the pair didn't think they would get along, with Liz telling J14, quote, Miranda thought I was stuck up or something. She thought that I thought she was a little too much. Well, that clearly was not the case. Actually, it's you, Lou. Me? Really? Number nine, Madison Hu and Olivia Rodrigo, Bizarre Vark. We have exciting news. Tomorrow is our first day of high school at Sierra High. Go Terriers! This show centers around Frankie Wong and Paige Olvera, two musicians who post comedic songs through their Vugle channel. Frankie provides the keyboards and piano, while Paige rocks out on the guitar. A series like this requires incredible chemistry between its leads, and luckily, Madison Hu and Olivia Rodrigo provide said chemistry through their real-world friendship. What is this? Four, 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 four. They may be four, annoying, four, but they do four, always yell four, exactly four, what they're doing. Madison claims that they started texting each other after the initial studio test, and the constant texting quickly blossomed into a genuine friendship. They began spending much of their free time together, the signifier of a true unbreakable bond. Then it's goodbye Malibu, hello trucking career. <laughs> you driving is the best. I get all of the perks with none of the responsibility. It's like when someone blows out your birthday candles. It takes all the pressure off the wish. Number eight, Peyton Elizabeth Lee and Joshua Rush, Andy Mack. This short-lived comedy drama concerns the titular Andy Mack, a seventh grade student who attends Jefferson Middle School with a cast of unique and interesting characters. One of them is Joshua Rush's Cyrus Goodman, a fellow seventh grader, Andy's best friend, and the first gay main character to be featured on the Disney Channel. How did it go? Did you tell him? No, it wasn't the right time. That's okay, it'll happen. The two actors are very close in real life and can often be seen getting all cutesy on social media, like dancing together and making adorable happy birthday posts. The two were also seen together at the Spies in Disguise premiere back in December 2019. Let's be mindful of this moment, because it's probably one of the last times we'll ever be together like this. Cyrus, Cyrus are, are you there? kidding me? Number seven, Ross Lynch and Laura Morano, Austin and Allie. Okay, I'm finished recording. I know that our wedding presentation is tomorrow morning and I'm ready to rock this thing. So what's left to do? I already did everything. <laughs> this comedy quite obviously follows the two titular characters, Austin Moon and Allie Dawson. Both are musicians, but both approach the art in very different ways. Here's the thing about the instruments. You don't have any money. What if I pay you back when I get rich and famous? Great, just have your butler fly over on your private jet and drop off a sack of shiny gold coins. Really? No. Austin is outgoing and showy, a very fun-loving entertainer. Allie is a more introverted songwriter with bad stage fright, wanting her music to speak for itself. The two actors were very close throughout filming, with Lynch telling J14, quote, Laura and I are kind of like a married couple. I'm worried about our future together. First, you're too busy for our presentation, and next thing you know, you've got a mustache and you're off to Egypt to look at the Eiffel Tower. Our octuplets deserve better than that. I don't know what any of that means. The two remain friends to this day. Ross Lynch personally attended Laura Morano's concert at the Roxy, and the two shared a cute moment together at the 2019 MTV Movie and TV Awards. Remember this one?
Number six, Bridget Mendler and Naomi Scott, Lemonade Mouth. There's a flower in a vase. I see a hand. In 2007, Mark Peter Hughes released Lemonade Mouth, a young adult novel that is essentially the breakfast club with music, following a group of teenagers in detention who decide to form a band to express their frustrations. A Disney Channel movie adaptation was released in 2011, with Bridget Mendler playing lead singer Olivia White and Naomi Scott playing bass player Mo Banjari. The two formed an incredible bond while filming the movie, and they remain good friends to this day. We didn't win Rising Star, but we won something bigger that night. In 2017, Mendler attended the Power Rangers premiere to support Scott, who was playing the Pink Ranger, and in 2019, Scott served as a bridesmaid in Mendler's wedding. Number 5. Dove Cameron and Sophia Carson, The Descendants Franchise this unique Disney Channel trilogy follows the titular descendants of famous Disney villains. Dove Cameron portrays protagonist Mal Bertha, the daughter of Maleficent and Hades. I think they will be quietly disappointed in us, but ultimately proud of us for doing our best. Sophia Carson plays Evie, a good friend of Mal and the daughter of the evil queen from Snow White. Oh yeah, I found out that Fairy Godmother blesses Ben with the wand at Coronation and we all get to go. I have nothing to wear, of course. The two actresses are very close, often depicted in social media as being attached by the hip. The two friends have visited Disney World together, and Dove Cameron told Seventeen, quote, Me, Boo Boo, Cam, and Sophia still have our core four group chat active and open, as we have for five years, which they continue to use despite Cameron Boyce's untimely passing in 2019. The two also crashed a Zoom meeting with the Leavenworth High School Theater troupe, who were the first to put on a stage production of The Descendants. Number 4. Sabrina Carpenter and Rowan Blanchard, Girl Meets World Do you think you're ready to just walk by your parents? I think I'm ready. Let me see your face as you walk by your parents. <laughs> making that face at us, Riley. Because I'm sticking out to the subway. Boy Meets World was an enormously popular show that ran throughout the 90s on ABC. We'll be right here. 14 years after its conclusion, a spin-off titled Girl Meets World began airing on the Disney Channel, and it ran for three seasons and 72 episodes before concluding in January 2017. London is 3,459 miles away from New York. What? You're too far away now! The spin-off follows Riley Matthews, daughter of Cory and Topanga, and her best friend Maya. Rowan Blanchard and Sabrina Carpenter instantly clicked after being cast in their respective roles, and the two quickly became best friends, with Blanchard going to Disneyland with Carpenter to celebrate her birthday. The two continued to hang out after the show's cancellation, attending Paris Fashion Week together in 2018. Thunder. Lightning. Number 3. Leo Howard and Olivia Holt – Kickin' It I'm in. I'm in! <laughs> this martial arts comedy follows the small but tight-knit group of people who attend a dumpy dojo in a strip mall called Bobby Wasabi Martial Arts Academy. Leo Howard and Olivia Holt play the dojo's resident black belts, Jack and Kim. The two have a strong real-life friendship and have often been referred to as Leo Livia by the show's fanbase. The two are often seen on social media goofing around together, wishing each other a happy birthday and visiting each other on different sets. What Sensei's trying to say is, if you train here, we'll make you a champion. Holt has even stated that when she and Howard hang out in person, they often peruse Instagram to look for photoshopped images of the two of them together. Jack Hai and Kim Yi discovered a love that would last an eternity. Number 2. Raven Simone and Annalise Vanderpool that's so Raven and Raven's home. Hey, chills. <laughs> you need to stop reading and tell me what's happening with Devon. Ra I'm sorry, man. I love these comics. Bubblegum Jim is so funny. At the heart of the Raven franchise are best friends Raven Baxter and Chelsea Daniels. In Raven's home, the two serve as single mothers living together in a Chicago apartment and raising children together. If raising your kids with your best friend is both a financial necessity and a dream come true, let me hear you say, woo woo. <laughs> <laughs> The two actresses have been real-life friends for years, and are arguably closer now than they've ever been. 
The two can often be seen mingling on social media, and they even attended the premiere of The Lion King together in 2019. It takes a special type of bond to remain so close throughout the decades, never mind the years. You right, you right, okay, let me go change into some sneakers, I'm gonna change my shirt and shave. What? what? There's a lot of single parents at that school. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Vanessa Hudgens and Ashley Tisdale, the High School Musical franchise. Seem like you knew Troy Bolton. Not really. He was just showing me around. <laughs> well, Troy usually doesn't interact with new students. Despite playing enemies Gabriella and Sharpay throughout High School Musical's main film series, Vanessa Hudgens and Ashley Tisdale are very good friends. The two have done a lot of work outside of the franchise, like performing a cover of L. King's X's and O's and appearing in Inner Circle, an E! Channel special that chronicled their real-life friendship. My best friend, Vanessa Hudgens! Ta-da! <laughs> Hudgens was a bridesmaid at Tisdale's wedding, and in July 2020, it was revealed that the besties were decorating and renovating their houses together. We can't wait to see what the iconic duo get up to next. I hate to think today is... Goodbye. No worries. My mom promised I'm here until graduation next year. Bless mom's little heart. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.